Welcome to another video. Let's quickly go back to some calculus one and evaluate this function when x is equal to one. The derivative of the function evaluated at one. So this is the function. h of x is the square root of four plus three times f of x. So we have two functions here and it looks like we cannot just do it straight away because this is a composition. So we might need to use the chain rule. We definitely need to use the chain rule. So remember the process here is you differentiate this function first, following the rules that you know about the chain rule. And after you're done, you just plug in the values because what you need is already provided in order to evaluate the function as at x equals one. Let's get into it. So our first move is to differentiate this. And in order to differentiate this, I would rather rewrite this. So we go h of x is what is under the square root sign, four plus three times the function three f, and we're gonna raise it to power one half. So now we're gonna differentiate. So if we take h prime evaluated at x, it will be equal to, we bring down this one half, and then we have four plus three times f of x raised to power. You subtract one from this is negative one half. Then you multiply by the derivative of what is inside because this is what is inside. So we have to multiply by the derivative. I'm gonna write it as four plus three f of x. Like that. So I need to differentiate this. But I want to rewrite this in a nicer way. So this is one half times, this is one over the square root of this. So if we write this out nicely, this should look like this. One over two times the square root of four plus three f of x. This is what this should look like. And we're going to be multiplying by the derivative of this function. Well, remember, the derivative of a sum is the sum of the derivatives, as long as each of them are differentiable, is differentiable. So if you differentiate 4 with respect to x, you get 0. If you differentiate 3 times f of x with respect to x, you just get 3 f prime of x. So what we have here is going to be 3 times f prime of x. That's it. This becomes zero and this is what you have. So now we can say this is h prime of x. So we go to the question. h prime evaluated at one means anywhere you see x plug in one. So this is what we have. This is going to be one over two times the square root of four plus three times f of one. Let's write it out. It's going to be f of one. Okay, multiplied by three times f prime of one. We know what this is. We know what this is because it was part of the question. What is f of one? It's seven. What is f prime of four? f prime of one, it is four. So I'm gonna go here and plug them in. This is equal to one over two times the square root of four plus three times f of one is seven multiplied by three times f prime of one is four. Nice. It looks like this is gonna be equal to, this is 12, let's write it here. This is gonna be equal to 12 over two times the square root of, three times seven is 21, 21 plus four is 25. Was the square root of 25? that's five. <laughs> what is two times five? That's 10. So it's, oh, so it's, I'm just gonna write this two times five. It looks like our answer is gonna be six over five. It's gonna be h prime of one. This is the answer we're looking for. That's a terrible box, but we'll take it. Never stop learning. Those who stop learning, stop living. Bye-bye.